that I clearly don't trust women enough to make choices to control their own body. And my response is, I do trust women enough to control when they allow a man to ejaculate. So inside of them and to control that intake of semen. So that may be inflammatory, but I think as a legislature, we have the responsibility to create a legal framework that is friendly and supporting rights. So that is uh, State Representative Carrie Ann Lisenby of Utah, who acknowledges that what she's saying is incendiary. I would say that's a good starting point, but then goes on to describe that what she advocates for is a friendly policy. She thinks women should just be more responsible about controlling who they allow to ejaculate inside of them. Because women always have control over that. Clearly, guys don't lie, guys don't force, you know, uh, uh, taking off condoms and stuff like that. The stealthing controversies that we've had in the US. And certainly, Carrie Ann Lisenby, I'm sure on some level, is familiar with the concept of rape. But when it comes to legislating, she conveniently seems to forget that it happens constantly to a very significant portion of every woman in America, Francesca. I just, uh, like I, what I wanna say about this woman, I cannot say, uh, but just give up, lady, like you're so gone. When I hear someone like that, I'm like, either one of us has to leave the country. Yeah. And I would like it to be you forever. I'd prefer um, that. I just, like, it's, a legislator is straight up saying control the semen intake. <laughs> we don't need to hear any of that out of your mouth ever. And again, and the reason we don't is because of what Roe v. Wade established, which is we have a right to privacy in this yeah. country. We have a right to to our own bodily autonomy and what happens in our bedrooms happens in our bedrooms. But if you're going there, lady, Clearly, you don't know much about sex, honey, because you definitely can't control your partner's semen outtake slash your intake. Sorry, that doesn't always happen. Yeah, just 100%. insane to me. Yeah, like, she. Like, uh, and you're like, you're like, oh, I trust women to control the men. Really. It has really. to be on them. Well, why would it ever be on the men? The men are the ones that she is trying to appeal with with this whole thing she's doing with her career as a legislator. This is not about controlling men, this is about men controlling everyone. That's what this is about, let's be yep. clear about that. Never being um, never being on the hook for anything. 100%, yeah, she's not pushing for uh, mandatory paternity tests and lifetime you know, uh, uh, childcare and, and, and paying for education. They're not asking for that because they don't care because it's not about that. Um, and she will. She she responded saying, I, "I I didn't express what I actually meant. That that's not what I meant. I'm familiar <laughs> with the concept of rape and all that. Well, that's very reassuring. Um, but again, you don't believe that women should be responsible for this. That they should they should be able to choose. Sophie, we're in the middle of something. Hold on a second. Um, the final point that I want to make is um, so even even there in their state in Utah, they do have uh, allowances." for if the woman has been raped. But I will say what I will always say, that everything about this is political from their point of view. Um, it, like the, the reason that the, the, the left or rational people will point out that you have to make allowances for rape is because the idea that you would force someone to give birth to someone, uh, the child of someone who's raped them is abhorrent. And some on the right will say, well, that, that makes sense. Obviously, we should have a carve out for that. Um, but do you get that ideologically, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever? If they believe what they actually say they believe, which is that it is murder, how the hell would it make any difference if it was the product of rape or not? Yep. When they concede that, what they're saying is they do not believe what they actually believe, or they believe it, but they just want as much as they can get. And they they understand on some level that, out, that not having an allowance for rape would just not work politically. But there is no ethical philosophical or ideological basis to that. If you actually believe that it's murder, there would be no allowances in that case. And you would 100% be locking up women at the very least as a response for that. There are some extremists like that in the Republican Party. They are the of only course. ones being honest about what they actually believe. It's disgusting, yes. none of that should happen. But it, but in the same way that it doesn't make sense to force people to give the uh, birth to the product of rape, it makes as little sense to force them to give birth to literally anything they don't want to. 
Wait, that is bad, the imposition. Last thing, they're they're bad faith, which is why we need to demand abortion uh, free, on demand, without apology. That is the ask because you can never fight them on their grounds of well, what about rape and incest? No, f that. You don't fight them on those grounds because we know what they're actually going for. It's a total and complete ban. <laughs>